Today I'm going to show you how to make cheesecake, and who doesn't like cheesecake, and Greek alectoburiko. So to get us going today, what I'm going to do is start off by making the crust. I'm going to use about a cup, cup and a half, actually closer to a cup and a half of chocolate chip cookies instead of the regular Graham cookies. I think that it's, it's more delicious and why not? Along with this in here, I'm going to incorporate some pre-melted butter that I did. About a third of a cup is going to go in and real quick, I'm just going to whiz this up. Perfect. And what we're going to use now is a 10 inch spring form pan. You can use a nine, it'll just come a little thicker for you. And pour that in. And what I'm going to do is just spread this around on the bottom, a nice fairly even layer, nothing to this at all. That's done. Our crust is ready to go. I'm just gonna take this and set this aside. By the way, I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees, so we're good to go there. Now comes the galactoburico part. The custardy part of this will incorporate very simply one cup of regular white sugar and six eggs. Put our mixer down, lock it, and what you're going to do is whip this up until it comes to a very smooth and fluffy consistency. All right, so now our eggs have been in there for about three or four minutes with the sugar. They're actually blending up nicely. The next part of this is I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You don't need more than this, so just one teaspoon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the zest of one orange. I'm just going to grate it. So that's that here. Put that. Scrape this out of the way. And here's our orange zest going in just like that. Perfect. Next part of this, we're going to use one and a half cups of fine durum semolina, which is what actually is going to be the thickening agent in this custard. Now we're going to take our orange, just cut it in half, and very carefully, I'm just going to strain the juice in here, carefully collecting the pits in my hand. You don't want to put pits in here. Not a fun experience for anybody. The next step to this and the final step before we bring it onto the stovetop is to add our milk. And for this, I'm using eight cups of milk. Slowly bring that in there. Mix that all up. And that will be fine. I'm going to move this off to the side. Here I am stirring the pot. I have emptied the contents of the mixture are custard in essence into this pot and I've slowly started heating it up. Now what will happen is as this thing is heating up, it'll start to thicken, tighten and take its form before we actually put it into our spring form pan and bake it off. Our custard is thickened up perfectly. It's pretty much ready to go. The rest of the thickening up process will take place in the oven. Just finished tightening up and boiling. We're going to take our spring form pan with the crust in it. At this point, what I'm going to do is take a little butter with my hand. It doesn't look very gracious, I know, but I'm going to just put it all around the, the inside of the, of the spring form pan where the, the custard will come in contact with it. Take the batch of my hot custard and this people please be very careful with this this custard is super super hot and it's dangerous believe me so what i'm going to do now is very carefully and as gracefully as i can pour this mixture into our spring form pan just like that carefully this is where you really want to be careful and you don't burn yourself that would not be a really good idea or a good thing for it to happen because nobody likes the emergency. So this will go in there like that. Take this. So I haven't burned myself. That's a great thing. I'm going to take this now and very 
gently just sort of jiggle it around so you make it as flat as you possibly can with just a spatula or or anything that you've got around just like that and this just smells magnificent the the orange the vanilla again a great great combination so this thing now will go as is into a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour in which case we're going to take it out after that and let this completely cool you don't want this uh topped with anything when it's hot it'll just turn everything runny and just goopy and it'll just be a mess so i'm going to throw this in the oven and when this is done i'll be back and show you where we go from there all right so it's been about two two and a half hours since this has finished baking off. It's pretty well completely cooled now. And what I'm going to do next, this is just, that looks fantastic actually. What I'm going to do next is top this off with just a little plain Jane uh, strawberry jam, just like that. And actually, before I do that, what I'm going to do is Carefully, I'm going to move this up here on the cake display stand so you can see exactly what's uh, what's going on here. What I'm going to do is actually take my knife and carefully, or as carefully as I can, cut around the perimeter of this so it'll loosen it up from the actual spring form. And that way it won't get all messed up when I pull this out. Hopefully it'll turn out. <laughs> so now, that's pretty well done. Oh my God. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to give this a little quick shake. It doesn't have to be rocket science. It's only cooking. It's just stuff that, you know, you do in your own kitchen. And that's what I'm doing here, exactly. So... Just pouring in uh, the strawberry over top of this and in the theme of this orange strawberry two of my favorites spread it out you can take it right to the edge or you can just leave it maybe half an inch out I this is fantastic. This is absolutely amazing. It turned out perfectly. At least I think it did. So, so now what I'm going to do is I get the first piece. My channel, my rules. So I grab the plate. I'm going to grab a knife and slowly just start cutting into it and see. It's literally, it's literally like butter. It's amazing. Okay, this isn't that small of a piece, but this is like going to be crazy good. Now let's see how easily this thing will actually come off. Whoa. This, this is the money shot right here. Unbelievable. Custard right through and through the chocolate chip cooking crust at the bottom is perfect look at the way that just it all just kind of oozes in there oh my god look I'm gonna be honest with you to me this is like four hours on the elliptical I can't even put this into words. The custard is so light and airy. The orange of the peel and the, of the zest and of the juice is absolutely magnificent. Plays with the strawberry. The chocolate chip at the bottom gives it that hint of chocolate, orange, strawberry. Unbelievable combination. Amazing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Until next time, 
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.